Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to open up a tablet and the one that I'm actually opening up is a RCA Cambio and this is the device, the back of the device. You might have seen it in our previous videos so I'm just going to open it up to show you how to disassemble or to get inside. One of the reasons why you might want to get inside is to actually replace the battery or to actually try some troubleshooting with the battery or to actually um, replace something else. Just a quick note guys, I apologize for the background noise. We're having some um, rainfall right now. Um, right away, just make sure you remove any um, micro SD cards that you might have in the SD card slot, all right? And of course, here's the front of the device in case, all right? Um, even if your device is a little bit different, you can still use the tips here to actually open up your device, all right? The first thing you want to do is locate all the screws. I have a screw here, screw here. And we have screws towards the side and so on all right so one of the main things i want to do guys is to get your screwdriver um this one will work and this is from a phone opening um set we actually want um the star point one that you see here so we're just going to go ahead and start opening this up i might cut out sections of the video or speed up sections or so on Cool trick is to actually um to know where the screws are from by actually placing them in a pattern that you'll actually remember. Alright, so that's it for there. So we'll look at these sides. Forgive me for the camera angle. Alright, there's two on this side. And also make sure you get a padded surface, it actually helps. And it'll prevent the tablet from becoming um, scratched. All right, once you do that, just make sure you don't miss the center one right here. So there's actually three. Actually, I almost missed that. All right, so let's double check your work. All right, on the lower side, we have two just beside the um, charge ports. And not all devices will have um, screws. Some devices actually do not come with any screws and they actually, both halves are actually snapped together. All right, so there we go. They've actually done that. Now we're gonna actually separate both halves. So basically what you want to do is to find the grooves and basically you're gonna try to get your um, fingers into the grooves and then you're gonna try separating both halves as in the process you're gonna get these tools um, again these are from phone opening um, sets you can have the pick we're not gonna use this one today we're gonna actually use this one because we're gonna get into the grooves um, if you have a suction cup that might help as well you can actually stick it to the screen which will help to um, as leverage now this device actually opens from the front um, some devices open from the sides so what you're gonna do is get this down into the, um, the groove once you do that and just forgive me for any um, camera angles that might happen here I'm just gonna kind of get into what I'm doing. Alright right, guys, while we're working, um, just I forgot to mention, in total there is um, three, six, nine screws in total, so just bear that in mind, just search carefully for them. Um, when you're opening up, just make sure you actually go all the way around, take your time, get some leverage, use the tool, and actually run it along the edges um, as they're coming up just make sure that you uh, pry them up to get them out you're gonna pry all the way around and get it all the way around now um, as soon as you reach this stage make sure that you take your um, time never force the halves apart so let me just show you what I mean so you're gonna carefully just um, separate the halves um, there might be something between both so you're just gonna separate um, carefully and there you go the device is actually open up um, this is the back cover let's put this aside so now the device is open up let's take a closer um, look now as you can see here I'm just orient the camera a bit just give me a little uh, time now as you can see here you have the main section of the circuit board over here as you can see down here is the charge port and of course it's attached directly to the main board over here and as you can see over here guys you can actually have this section that you can actually flip up right over here you actually have this section to actually remove it all you gotta do 
to disconnect this section, especially um, replace this section, could be um, this. You can just flip this directly up and slide out the ribbon cable um, down here. You have um, this quick um, connection point here that's easy to change. All you gotta do is change this out. And of course, you can actually find these on eBay or you can scrap an old device to get um, this replacement part here. Um, also, to get to the battery, depending on what you're doing, if you're changing this out, you have to actually move this, disconnect this, and move it out of the way. Over here, this is another ribbon cable that connects a section over here that looks like a camera. You know, down here you have the speaker, which is all changeable again. To disconnect the speaker, you can follow the lead and notice the connector here on the board does basically um, get something like the tool I'm having in my here and actually um, eject this section here and then you'll be able to change the speaker. Um, back to the battery, you'd have to actually flip this um, ribbon cable up and then slide out this ribbon cable and then of course this one out of the way you could actually change the battery. If you just want to disconnect the battery such as you're having um, power base issues such as your um, device not powering on and the display is blank, you just want to disconnect the battery, you don't have to do anything, all you gotta do is basically just eject this, leave it out, you could actually press the power button and hold, once you press the power button and hold, after this you can actually reconnect and that's it. For most cases it should cause the tablet to start booting again. Um, you can carefully um, test without actually putting on the back and when you're satisfied you can actually reconnect everything. So this is a very simple tablet, very easy to repair. Overall I give this probably in terms of um, repairability. In terms of swapping out parts, it's very easy. I give it an eight or a nine, easy. All right, um, the logic board over here can be um, changed out. It's a little bit trickier, but not hard. All you gotta do is just remove, um, basically move out everything. All right, there's the reset button on the board over here. And of course, everything is easily um, changed. So um, let me just show you how quickly just to disconnect the, um, the ports here. As I said, just use this tool. Just notice right here, I'm using the camera, so forgive me. Alright, so let me just disconnect this. It's quite easy. All you gotta do is just um, flip up. There you go. By simply pinching up, as you can see, look at this. Very easy. And that's it. You can actually change out um, this section. Um, likewise, just in case of um, corrosion with charging issues, one of the things that you can actually do here is just um, double check this and make sure that you rub off that section and then um, place it back in. So I'm just going to do that right now. Alright, so once you rub it off, you can basically just slide this section back in carefully. should go right in. And then you just clamp down. Quite easy, that's it, it's in. Alright. Um, for the battery now, this is a different um, connector. So basically what we need is something firm again, and you can just basically get it out. So just push outwards or pick out there you go it slides right out so as you can see it's gonna remove this the battery is disconnected and if the battery is disconnected of course you can still um, operate the buttons that were on the um, side all you gotta do is just locate where they were for example um, I think um, Paul was right here you can always refer to um, you can actually refer to the um, case you can refer to the case, you can actually align it on the top and see where things were. Basically, once you do that, if you come back here, once you know where um, everything was, you can actually see the button stands off again. So all you got to do is, while the battery is disconnected, hold down um, power. So we're holding down power now, and you just can hold it for 30 seconds, so it's going to 30, or just count in your mind. That's it. Bam. And doing that should help with um, fixing the um, problem. And remember to then reconnect the um, battery or so on. It's quite easy. And every other connector in here is basically just like that, including this section over here. All you gotta do is just flip this one up, slide it out, slide it back in, and that's it. Um, that's it for the disassembly. You can actually figure out everything that I've said um, using um, common sense. So basically, here's what you're going to do. Um, if you disconnect anything, what you can do is um, take a picture before to make sure you know where everything goes. All is a simple setup. But in case you actually end up um, forgetting anything, you can always refer back to the um, picture, right? It's quite easy to change out anything from here. I don't need to actually go into changing out anything. So what I want to do, guys, is if you want to reassemble, reassemble, sorry, 
what you're going to do is um, reconnect everything such as these um, connectors they slide right back into place or just slide them back in and so on and so forth you can always press the buttons to test anything and of course once you're finished just do what you did a while ago in reverse and that should be able to um, reassemble so guys this is Ricardo and this has been another quick blog tech tip showing you how to actually disassemble um, your um, tablet so if you have any questions please leave them below, below in the comments and I'll be sure to um, get back to you. This is Ricardo saying bye until next time. Bye.